Welcome back to the Summer Grill Series here on Chud's Barbecue, everybody. My name is Bradley Robinson, and today I've got a beautiful hanger steak that I am going to grill to perfection, and it's going to be fantastic. Coming up! The hanger steak, also known as the butcher's steak, is a pretty unique cut. There's only one per cow, so traditionally, it'd be pretty hard to fill up a butcher case with them, so the butchers would keep them for themselves, hence the name butcher's steak. But nowadays, they're becoming more and more available, and they're a super tasty cut because they're really tender, really fatty, and also incredibly beefy, and are perfect for the grill. So, that being said, today we're gonna be grilling up a hanger steak, probably throw some asparagus with a little hollandaise on top as a wonderful side dish, and it is going to be delicious. This is a hanger steak. Conveniently enough, this hanger steak has come already trimmed out, which I was not expecting. Very happy about that. Don't really need this knife anymore. But if you get these in the store, traditionally these two pieces are connected together like so, and there's a big seam of connective tissue holding them together, and you definitely want to cut that out because it's going to be super chewy. What you'll end up with is a smaller piece like that and a piece like this. Oftentimes, too, you're going to have a lot of silver skin on these steaks, which you'll have to peel off. I'm pretty happy. I was planning on spending the next 10 minutes trimming these down, so don't have to do that. What I am going to do is cut them into a little bit more manageable sized pieces. Yoink, yoink. Cut this end off right there. That'll be a tasty bite, but also you can tell, like, look at the grain on that. It almost looks like a brisket. It's got really big fibers to it, yet it comes out super tender. So this one I'm gonna cut in half as well. And as you can see, we've got some beautiful marbling in there. It's kind of a coarse looking cut. Reminds me a little bit of a skirt steak, but we're gonna cook it to medium rare. It's gonna be so good. First things first, let's get this seasoned up. To season these steaks up, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple as I tend to do with some good old kosher salt. Diamond crystal, that is. Get all sides, folks, you know the drill. Some black pepper, because you can't have a steak without some black pepper. And I'm gonna go on with a little bit of garlic powder too. Because I like it. All right, looking good to me. Let's go ahead and fire up the pit. Boot snake! While we wait for our coals to light, let's go ahead and make ourselves a hollandaise sauce to go with our grilled asparagus. Starting with one half pound of butter. Then into the jar of a blender, we're going in with some egg yolks, a couple cloves of garlic. I wouldn't do that if I was making eggs benedict, but because this is going on some grilled veg, I think it's gonna be real nice. Some lemon juice, about half a lemon. Probably gonna go a little more lemon heavy in this than I would for say a benedict or something, just because again, this is gonna be a nice citrusy summer delight. A nice big pinch of black pepper. And instead of cayenne, which is pretty traditional, I blasted one of these jalapenos on the coals real quick. And we're gonna go in with that. Boop. And we're gonna just give that a quick little blitz. Cause what doesn't sound good about a jalapeno hollandaise? And off to the side here, our butter is right up to a boil, starting to simmer away nicely. And we want that nice and hot, cause that's what's gonna cook the egg yolks, giving us a beautiful hollandaise. And then slowly but surely, we're gonna drizzle this super hot butter in while gradually increasing the speed. So I'm gonna really slow at first. Oh, it's starting to look good. This is a super easy way to make some really tasty hollandaise. And as a thick as you can start adding your butter in faster and faster without worrying about it breaking. At this point too, you should go in and give it a little taste test. Wow. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, that's perfect for some veg. Love it. Garlicky. Very nice. Maybe a little more lemon juice. And then for ease of application in a little bit, we're going to put this into a little squirty squirt bottle here. Oh, yes, please. That looks fantastic. Mm. Now that our grill is up to temp, let's go ahead and throw these hanger steaks on. Ooh, nice sizzle. And there's not really much of a trick for cooking these. I'm gonna just do these hot and fast. I'm gonna flip them every minute or so just to get even cooking all the way through. It's a pretty small steak, so to get it cooked through should only take a few minutes. Ooh, now we're cooking. Looking real nice. 
And just like that, these are coming off. They're rocking about 130 internal. We're going for a bit more of a medium rare today. So I'm gonna pull these off and let them rest for a little bit while we get our asparagus cooking. In our perforated grill pan here, we're just gonna go right on top of the flames. And I'm gonna hit these with a little bit of olive oil. Get them nice and coated. Also go with a nice pinch of salt and of course, some black pepper. And we're just gonna let these go for a couple minutes. Give them the old shake a shake every now and then until we get some really nice color on there. I tell you what, something about grilling in the summertime. Can't beat it. Just a few minutes later, these are starting to look real nice. And you can take these as far as you like, but oh, tell me that doesn't look tasty. I think it's time to plate it up. Residual juices, yes please. Don't forget the asparagus, folks. Gotta have your veggies every now and again. But don't worry, they're covered in butter. And of course, last but not least. Ooh. Yes, please. Jalapeno hollandaise, folks. Don't sleep on it. Without further ado, folks, let's dive into this hanger steak and see how it came out. Ooh, looking good so far. Man, it feels very tender going in. And I think that's exactly what we're looking for, folks. Nice and tender. Got some beautiful color on there from the charcoal. What more do you need in life than that? Oh, so tender. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That is fantastic. Oh, mm. It's incredibly beefy, incredibly juicy. A lot of fat in there. I mean, it's dripping. Very tender in the mouth. Can't go wrong with that. Might have to borrow some of this hollandaise over here, though. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's the perfect bite right there. Tell you what, guys. If you haven't had a hanger steak before, hunt one down. They're readily available online, too. Porter Road has them. Wild Fork has them. See them in the grocery store pretty often. I mean, Chef John said it best. It's tender like a filet. It's fatty and flavorful like a ribeye. But it's beefy like a short rib or like a brisket or something. All right, let's go for some of this uh, hollandaise covered asparagus. Mm-hmm. That smoky char on the asparagus mixed with that jalapeno in there. Oh, it's perfect. Bright yet rich. That's a keeper side for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, maybe it's because I haven't had hollandaise sauce in a while, but that is really good. I mean, what more do you need? This is like the quintessential beef experience, right? You got that charcoal flavor. You got that crust on there. It's super beefy, nice and fatty, incredibly flavorful. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Uh, beep. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's a wrap. I'm finishing the rest of this off camera. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make one of the best Tuesday night dinners I have had in a very long time. Again, if you've never had a hanger steak before, I definitely recommend picking one up. They are super tasty, and they're pretty easy to find. And if you can't find them, again, there's a lot of online retailers that sell them. But that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please let me know by hitting that subscribe button, liking the video, and all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me cook next. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. Highly recommend giving that garlicky jalapeno hollandaise a shot. Very tasty. <laughs> Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.